unnamed transformer review barricade. So here we have my custom barricade figure. A friend of mine recently asked me why I never got any of the recent barricade figures for my collection. And well, this is why, because I have this one. And since I customized it myself, I'm quite partial to it. So this figure was originally TFC, I believe, Gumball, part of their Defensor combiner back when third party ruled the universe. Um, I didn't like how he felt as Gumball or as uh, Streetwise and ended up going with the maker Make Toys uh, Guardia. So what I did with him is when I failed to sell him the first time, so I took a paint, a paint marker to him, painted him into a police car, after I realized he was a Mustang. So, and then the all these stickers on him are from a, a toy hack set for a movie barricade figure. So, if we zoom in right here, you see it says to punish and enslave. Got the police logo, the police badge with the Decepticon symbol that is way more crooked than I remember. 643, dial 911. Decepticon logo, repeat over here, silver gas cap, and then on top we've got the light bar that was already part of the figure, 643, and the only thing that I don't think looks that great is this police thing, but even at that on camera it looks a lot better in, than it does in person. So yeah, the only problem is I had to kind of invent this door handle piece right here, but yeah. I'm quite happy with it. So if we turn to the underside, got visible head syndrome, and then we got this little cutout that was for the combiner, uh, for the peg for the combiner foot. And then up here is the, whoo, that's tight, is the combiner port that will never be used, unfortunately. So yeah, so to transform him, we're going to nudge the camera up a little bit. So I don't remember the proper order to transform it, so I'm just going to wing it. So we're going to pull the front away, and it'll come out. Which will then allow us to uh, break the connection here and here, and then start folding the legs out so one now to finish transforming the leg we come here flip this up and now the leg will fold all the way around so we'll break this connection fold it out flip that up finish folding the leg up so we come around back here, we're going to take the foot, grab it, and you notice the foot and this door piece share an armature. So when you fold one, the other moves, and we're going to fold out the heel, and then finish folding that up, and then put the foot in place. So that's one, we'll do the other. So we get in here, break that connection, pull the foot down, fold out the heel, Collapse that all the way in, collapse the foot back, and set this up here. So then we come to the top. We, we come to the top and pull this down, and then on the other side do the same thing. Pull this down, and then this whole back piece will come down. So on the back piece, we're just going to tab it back together. Now it also has a cool engine detail that you'd never see. So you've got these two slots, these two big pegs. So we're going to push his head out the way. Grab this, uh, grab his arms, rotate them straight up. Pull this piece out, flip it upside down. This is going to allow us to fold his head up. Bring this down and form the chest. 
take his arms, they're going to extend, flip out his hand, and then fold the door around, and there's an arm. So we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll extend it, well you couldn't see that. Extend, fold out the hand, collapse the window, and that's both arms. Flip the waist, and for the back. So the backpack's on these two little gray arms. So what you want to do is you want to kind of fold it up until the backpack snaps in like so, and then you just kind of rest the the front part of his police car mode on him, on top of him. Now there, these panels are supposed to do something. What I don't know. So I just leave them as is, and so here's my customized barricade. Now in most media, barricade is depicted as black, white, and purple. Now he was originally a rescue bot, and or rescue bot, uh, per protect a bot and their unified color scheme is white and red so that's where the red and the white come from so I just blacked out most of the white I thought about changing the red to purple but I actually really like this scheme and we can see the two gears is from the other video and if we zoom in on the head you can see all the detailing I've done on the head because I actually added a bunch of this red to it if it'll focus. Come on. There we go. And his expression just looks very angry. And not Autobot. So yeah. So for accessories, you get these two guns. They this is how they came. I did not do anything to these. They peg in his hands just fine. And hooray. He also came with a combiner foot, or was it a hand? I don't remember. I don't know where it is. So, yeah, articulation. For his time, there's nothing to write home about. So, he's, he, his feet are on little ball joints. So, you can kind of cheese out tilts, but they're not really tilts. Um, he's got his arm can go this high, but if you adjust the double joints, you can kind of fake it in different ways. So you can get there. He's got bicep swivel, no hand articulation. That's probably the only real knock, no butterflies, nothing special. Again, I don't fixate on articulation. I just want him to have basically what we have today. Now this is an old figure, so I kind of give it a pass. So yeah, so that's just been a quick look at TFC Gumball, a.k.a. Uh, a Draco Custom Barricade. Tell me what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out my fantasy story on Fiction Press. See you for the next one.